Jesus Christ, and yet people get angry. And this is a strange thing, that people would get angry talking about the Prince of Peace, and sometimes they get exceedingly angry and swear and threaten and do all kinds of things. But this is another example of the works that lead to death. What about an act of idolatry? Who do you worship? I can imagine if you're passing by today, you do not worship the God who became man, who died and rose again on the third day. I imagine you might worship a footballer or a singer or whatever it may be, but you were created to worship. And what you do is instead of worshiping the one true God, you will go away and worship whatever pleases you and whatever seems right in your own heart. The Bible says they did what was right in their own hearts. And yet the thing is, this is another act or work that leads to death. And yet I'm not here this Christmas time to speak wrong and ill and you might be walking past and thinking, I'm here to buy Christmas presents for my loved ones. I don't want to hear about death and all these things about the judgment of God and hell to come. But I'm here to tell you because I care and because I can speak from experience that the God who has dealt with death can also give you eternal life. Back in the Garden of Eden, God said to Adam, of every tree of the garden you may eat freely, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat, for in that day you shall surely die. Now if you're walking past today, you may think, what does the Garden of Eden have to do with me? But you are an inheritor of the sin of your parents, and you do like your parents do. You reject the God of the Bible, and you do your own thing. And so consequently, as you walk past, you may think that this gift is not for you, that this gift is not yours to take. And yet every human being who can hear the sound of my voice, the Lord Jesus Christ came into the world to save sinners. If you've done any of these things, you fit in the category. If you one day will die, you fit in the category of sinner. And I don't point a finger at you because I want to point a finger at you, but because I know your position. I am in exactly the same position as you, and the God of whom I speak has saved me from my sins, and one day will present me holy and blameless before his throne. And he can do that for you too. But here's the problem. He's appointed a day in which he will judge the world in righteousness. The God who lives in heaven does not let people get away with wrongdoing and sinfulness. The God who is in heaven has done what is necessary to pay the price and to meet his justice. The God who is in heaven is reaching out today to you through me as a person who's speaking, who's weak and foolish. And yet, if anyone will believe in this God, in this Lord Jesus Christ, they can have life and life in all its fullness. Because he has appointed this man by the man whom he has ordained. He has given assurance of this to all by raising him from the dead. The one who went in the ground, if he was like any other religious leader, would have remained in the grave because none of them spoke the truth. Well, this Jesus, this one who came from the very presence of God in heaven, this Jesus came and took on our fallen flesh. This Jesus paid the price in the flesh and God proved that he can judge the world in righteousness because he raised him from the dead and gave him eternal life and he can freely offer it to anyone who believes. If you're passing by today, you may not have tomorrow. There is a judgment coming and it says he will judge the world in righteousness and yet you today have the opportunity to believe in this Jesus Christ, the crucified, the risen Jesus who can give you life and life in all its fullness. All you simply need to do is believe on the one who now sends you to work for your soul. You've gone the way of Cain. I'm simply here to tell you the way of Cain. You've gone the way of Cain. to tell you about the one who has died, the one who is risen, and the one who is in himself eternal. again. So the one who has died and risen and, and sits at the right hand of the Father can offer to all who will believe eternal life. If only you will turn and believe. If anybody would like to learn more about this Jesus of whom I speak, I freely offer a John's Gospel to anyone who would like to take it to read for themselves and to find out about this Jesus, the one who in himself has life and can offer it freely to all who will believe that they can avoid the coming judgment and be made right in God's sight. Thank you very much for listening. I'll offer that to anyone who would like one. No? No. No. Don't want one. Everything, bread. Everything, yeah? Yes. Just life church, yeah? Everything I come to life church here. Yeah. You go to life church? Yeah. Okay. Everything I come, yeah?
Every people say, I call, I do, yeah, I help you, yeah, yeah. Oh, so you come along to help? Yeah, okay. Everything, help you, help me, help you. No, nothing. <laughs> nothing? Nothing. Okay. Four months, five, nothing. Okay. Yeah. So are you with the church local? Is that what you're saying? Listen, I, everything, yeah. You agree? Listen, I, everything, life church, oh, yeah. Over Hampton, next church, yeah. Yeah. I'll play African church, play guitar. You play guitar? Yeah. Are you saved? Yeah. I born Christian. again? I'm Christian. Yeah. You're Christian? Okay. Yeah. No, people say, I help you, help you, help you, help you. No, 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 no. Fucking shit. Okay. So, did you just swear then? Huh? Did you swear then? Never. Never mind. Don't worry, brother. It's okay. Thank you anyway. Are you, are you staying around? Yeah, I here live for uh, four months. Excellent. Okay. Here? Yeah. Brad. Yeah. Uh, four years uh, live in uh, Wolverhampton. Okay. Yeah. No, I have everything. I, every Sunday I play guitar in uh, African church, yeah? Yeah. No fear, I come, yeah? Yes. Say, I help you, help you, help you. <laughs> Every Sunday. No, 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 no. Thank oh, you. so they won't let you help here. Right, I get yeah. you. Okay. Every Sunday, say No, yeah. no, no, no. What, what language do you speak? Why? My Lithuanian. Lithuanian, okay. Yeah. Right. So, you go to a church down here. Huh? You go down here. Yeah, there you go. Why don't you go to that book table up there and see if they've got anything for you at that book table up there? You, you know the gazebo? Yeah, I know. Go, have you been up there? You've had a look on that stall. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. That's all right then. Nice to meet you. Yeah, everything. Sure, see. I yell you, yell you, yell you. Nothing, nothing. Like. Yeah. What? But no, say it. No speak, yell you. Yeah. Okay. Every Sunday. Yeah. You want to come up here with us? Feel free to come up here. I'm going to get a quick drink, all right? I'm going to get a drink. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah, you go up there. I don't know, I can't, I don't know. Yeah, just wander up there and go and see one of the people on the stall up there. The gazebo. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. On that green. Okay. Nice to see you.